Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve a restricted assignment problem. Here an assignment problem is given. Suppose we have 4 machines 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 4 persons A, B, C and D. See if we assign machine 1 to person A our cost of assignment is 5 units that may be 5 rupees or 5 dollar anything. But if we assign machine 1 to person D, our cost of assignment is reduced to 2 units. So this is a minimization type problem. Our objective is to assign 4 machines to 4 persons in such a way so that our total assignment cost is minimum. Next, here is a clause. We can't assign the machine 2 to person B. There is a dash symbol that means this assignment is restricted. So how to solve it? I will tell you. Step 1. For minimization type problem, place a largest number in the restricted cell. These are restricted cells. So we will look for a largest number. So we will scan each number and look for the largest number. Here the largest number is 22. So we will just add a number bigger than this number in these cells. So we can take 22 plus 1, 23. So we can place 23 in this location and this location. So that we will get our new matrix. Remember, in minimization type problem, we will add a largest number. But in maximization type problem, we will add a smallest number. You can check out my video about maximization type problem on my YouTube channel. Link is given in the video description. Step 2. Get at least one zero in each row and each column. I have written the matrix here. To get at least one zero in each row, you can do search for the smallest number in each row. So here in row 1 the smallest number is 25 and subtract that number from each of the numbers in row 1. So you will get 28 minus 25, 3, 31 minus 25, 6, 35 minus 25, 10 and 25 minus 25 is 0. Similarly do the same to all rows so that you will get at least one zero in each row. And Perform the same check to all the columns if they do not have at least one zero. Here, luckily, we have at least one zero in each column also. So we can directly proceed to step three. Step three, draw lines to cover maximum zeros with minimum lines. So we'll draw lines. In a four cross four matrix, we look for four zeros in a single row or single column. And we'll draw our first line in that row or that column. If not, then we look for three zeros in a line. If not, we look for two zeros in a line. If not, we look for one zero in a line. Draw our first line to them to that row or that column which has maximum number of zeros. So, unfortunately, we have exactly one zero in each row and each column in this question. So, we'll draw lines arbitrarily. So, our first line or L1 is drawn in row one, L2 in row two, L3 in row three and L4 in row 4. Step 4. Test for optimality. The numbers of lines drawn is 4 equals to or not the number of rows. Here there are 4 lines and number of rows are also 4. So this is an optimal solution. If these two values doesn't match then non-optimal solution. To know more about non-optimal solution please watch my another video on assignment problem with negative cost. There I described a problem which has non-optimal solution. So for now, we can proceed to step 5, perform allocation. Since it's an optimal solution, we will now perform the allocation. So here I have rewritten the matrix from the last step and for allocation, that is covering zeros with a box. There is a rule. The rule is first we will do our first allocation in that row or that column which has exactly one number of zero. So here luckily in each row and each column we have exactly one zero. To know more about this allocation you can also watch that video. There I described the matter also. So for now we have exactly one zero in row one. So we'll do our first allocation here. In row two again we have one zero. So we'll do our second allocation. In row three we'll do our third allocation. And row four we will do our fourth allocation. So all the allocations are done. Next, we will find out the allocation list. 
So allocation list is given by machine 1 is assigned to person D that is 1D. Machine 2 is assigned to person B 2B. Machine 3 is assigned to person C so 2C and machine 4 is assigned to person A so 4A. So this is the assign allocation list. So friends this was my video on assignment problem with a restricted assignment. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video please like it and please subscribe to my youtube channel. By subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. And please share this video on your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Google Plus accounts. By sharing the knowledge you may help someone else. I have uploaded many other videos on operation research subject such as Vogel's approximation method or VAM, Northwest corner rule, matrix minimum method, assignment problems of many types of maximization, minimization type, negative cost, restricted assignment etc. Also I have uploaded tutorials on each of the 8 modes of this FX nanonon ES calculator from mode 1 computational mode to mode 8 vector mode. Also I have uploaded videos on this FX set to MS calculator like 20 cool features of this FX set to MS calculator, how to perform statistical calculations on this calculator and many other tricks. So friends thanks for watching see you in my next video and stay connected by subscribing.